Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit, and happy Sunday, everyone. If this is your first time here. Thanks for visiting me, and to all my returning visitors, welcome back. So today has been just kind of a lazy day. I got a little bit of mail I wasn't expecting since it's Sunday. And I did that, worked a little bit on my cardigan. I've always able to get about four or five rows done. And it's been, each row is 216 stitches. Although now my last row I had to add to, so it's 218 stitches now. But my I've been crocheting for a while. And so getting my hands back used to knitting means the back of my hand is a little bit sore. So I only did about five rows. But I made quite a bit of progress compared to where I was. <clears throat> and then I worked, I made one scrunchie. I like this one. It's pretty, you know, pretty big. And I'm going to do some more of those. I also started a, a tutorial on making just a basic loom knit cowl. And I'm doing that with the Karen cape. So it'll match the scarf and beanie hat that I already have. And so the rest of today is just going to be chill. I'm just hanging out with my cats. Max has been hanging out on my lap most of the afternoon, so I'm covered in cat hair. And I started working on the cow, and so he got mad at me, and he's sitting in the llama head now. Which means Little Miss got evicted from the llama head because she'd been in there most of the day, and I'm not quite sure where she is. I'm sure I'll find her as soon as I get up to go to the bathroom because that's their cue. Both of them go run in the bathroom just to keep me company. So, but anyway... I'm hoping, I hope you guys had a great weekend, and for everyone with a traditional work week, sorry, to, sorry that, you know, tomorrow's Monday, but, you know, you got to get out there and get back to work, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit, and this is Mail Call. I wasn't expecting anything since this was a Sunday. I got a text message from FedEx saying that package was delivered, and since I've been getting all those your package is held up, whatnot, scam text messages that are getting sent out. Um, we know FedEx isn't sending them out, but people are using FedEx's name to send out these scam text messages. So I was ignoring it, and then I decided, well, let me go look. And I looked in there, and I have two boxes that were on my porch addressed to me. I don't remember what these are. I don't know if they are. I don't know if someone sent them to me. I don't know um, anything. So we're going to open them and figure it out. I do know that it came from... Um, one says Bergdorf International in Florida, in Odessa, Florida. And this one says it was shipped from Port Reading, New Jersey, with a USPS tracking number on it. So, I know what these are. Okay, I know what this one is anyway. I ordered this from eBay. It is the world's cutest little tool chest. Because everyone needs some household tools. And this way, my cute little pen. But I mean, you know, it's got um, a crescent wrench, a tiny little six foot um, tape measure with the absolute cutest little lanyard, neon pink lanyard on it. And some wire cutters, wire cutters, box knife, basically a screwdriver, just simple stuff that I needed. So, hey, that's cool. I, I just ordered that, like, in the last, just this past week, I'm surprised it was here already. So, let's see what this one is. Okay, here's the things. There's this newsletter list that I got on called the Giveaway Gazette. That they send you this link 
all these um, giveaways, and I, I think one of the little mailing lists I got on for one of my yarn stuff, I think is where somehow I ended up there, because a lot of the giveaways are for yarn. But it doesn't take, but it's like three clicks to enter a giveaway, so I've been going through and entering all of them. And I actually won one. This is what it is. It is the, um, a food storage scissor, smart seal food containers, the five piece set. So, and yet they're not counting the lids as part of the five. So, cause you know, most places I'll say, oh, it's a 10 piece set, but it's, you know, five of those 10 pieces are lids. So it's got two small ones, two medium ones and one big one. They said expect it in two to four weeks, and I guess it's been about that long. I just had would expect to get to show up on the weekend. So now I really am gonna to have to start cooking. I actually have stuff. Let's see. You put it on like that. You put it on and turn it and it kind of locks it in. That is awesome. So I've got one this size, or I just do that size, one this size, and two this size. And it's a pretty neat color. And if I decide not to cook, I can always put yarn in it. I just like the fact that they seal. I mean, it, you know, when they seal, it locks it. One-handed opening and sealing, space efficient, dishwasher safe, high resistance to breakage. I'm just really, really tickled with this. <coughs> so yeah, so it's not yarny stuff today, but it doesn't have to be yarny stuff every day. It's fun stuff. Getting mail is fun, especially when, you know, you, you win something, because winning is always fun. And so that's the third giveaway I have won since I since September. I mean, I started with Bag of Day and um, her giveaway, and then I won Cindy Malters, and then I won this. But I mean, I do enter a lot of them. So if you look at the ratio of enter to win, it's not that great, but it doesn't cost me anything to enter them. So why not go ahead? So anyway, that is it for Mail Call today, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you again tomorrow.